And in conclusion, homeowner fees are due by the 10th of each month. Any new business? The president recognizes Carmine Santucci. I think everyone recognizes Carmine Santucci with no help from you, okay? <laughs> now, I am recruiting players for my muffly shop basketball team. Last season, we won several fist fights, but no games. <laughs> Therefore, if uh, anyone knows of anyone with any God-given talent for the sport... <laughs> One last but very important announcement. We in Woodland Heights lost two of our citizens last week, Ed and Susie Yeager. Tragically, they were enjoying their hot tub when their electric bug zapper fell in. <laughs> if we may, let's have a moment of silence for our departed fellow homeowners. The Yeagers. Aren't they the ones with that fantastic housekeeper? Her name's Alba Guatemalan political refugee. <laughs> I heard she did their grocery shopping. She shampooed their rugs while they were on vacation. I hear she makes a great paella. Excuse me. Ladies. Bad. Sorry. Thank you, everyone. For all those interested, there'll be a memorial service here in the rec center immediately following the meeting, and the ping pong tournament will commence directly afterward. It's too bad the Jaegers won't be here to defend their title. Meeting adjourned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you coming, honey? Oh, um, I think I'm gonna hang back and pay my respects to the Jaegers and their beloved domestic help, who finally has a day open. Becca, the Jaegers' bodies aren't even cold yet. Life is for the living, honey. I'm getting her. Please help yourself to the <laughs> Wow, Becca. A house looks fantastic. How did you do all this? I thought you were in the middle of a big court case. Well, I hired some help. And her name is Alba. <laughs> you got Alba? But she only works for us one day a week. Not that we'd have her for more even if we could. I mean, it's not like she's our servant or anything. She's... Honey, honey. White guilt. Right, right. <laughs> You are just the luckiest person in the whole world. Alba cooks for you, she cleans for you. It's like having a fairy godmother, who's a maid. <laughs> Alba. Thank you. Alba, you, you've been cooking and cleaning all day long. Do you want to take a break? Oh, it's not a problem, no, really. No, no, Mr. Will. He always telling me to take a break. I tell him I have plenty of time to rest when Mr. Will is dead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, be careful, the baby spit up on it. Give Alba five minutes, good as new. Come on, cook. Play on my team. It'll be fun. So far, all I got is one Italian guy and four Mexican guys from my shop. I keep wanting to kick the ball, not dribble it. You know, I was thinking about your team and what you said about me sharing a God-given talent. Radish? Oops. Sorry. Sorry. But as it, uh, turns out, I, uh, did play a little ball in school when, uh, I wasn't very good, though. <laughs> Whoops, again. <laughs> so, are you gonna play or what? Well, I'd like to, man, but, um, turns out I'm gonna be a little... <laughs> busy. <laughs> Mrs. Tamara, here you go. Good? As new. Oh, my God, you got the stain out completely. How did you do that? Oh, Alba take care of many, many babies. <laughs> I love babies. I wish I could take care of another baby someday. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Becca, I know this sounds forward, 
But do you think I can borrow Alba next Saturday? Just once, with the baby and all, the whole house is falling apart. Oh, gee, Tamara, I, I'm prepping for this trial, and I really need Alba right now. Oh, uh, okay, I, okay. If it were up to me, I would. I'd love to. But Will, you know, he is so dependent on her. Alba, please, let me do that. J sit, sit. <laughs> Sorry. I completely understand. Bitch. I've been looking everywhere for good help. You can't just bring anybody into the house with a newborn. Would it have killed her to just give me one day? No, oh, baby, maybe Becca was just trying to say that she... Bitch. I've been thinking, now that I'm back in school, maybe we could use someone like Alba to, like... Sweetheart, yeah. I told you before, no strangers in the house. They touch your underwear. <laughs> you know the way that you dust to that Louis Prima song? She's not gonna want to do that. <laughs> Thing is that it's getting harder and harder to juggle everything. And now with your nephew living with us, it's getting even harder. Okay, so the kid has some problems. But I'm sorry, Lisa, no hired help. It's not the way the Santucci's do things. We clean our own. <laughs> Lavender. <laughs> Chocolate. Thank you. Mr. Will. He keep a little marijuana in the drawer. Really? <laughs> so, Alba, how are the Marrits? Treating you well, I'm sure. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Mr. Will and Mr. Becca are both very, very nice. <laughs> Although I'm guessing Becca's a real perfectionist. Likes everything just so. That can get kind of annoying after a while. <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> I don't know. Go with the flow. <laughs> so you're happy. Oh, yes. Mm, then I guess I'll be seeing a lot of you around here. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Mm. Yeah. If I'm able. <laughs> if you're able? Oh, as you know, it's hard. It, it's a long drive from my house to here, and, and the gas is not so cheap, well, and... Oh, the Marricks don't pay your mileage? Well, that doesn't seem right. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't like to ask. And besides, you know, Mr. Will might not even understand me if he was all, you know... <laughs> you shouldn't have to ask. I mean, I should think you would be getting at least 30 cents a mile. 30? <laughs> oh, did I say 30? Where am I, 1968? <laughs> 40 cents a mile. It's not like Alba to be late. God, I hope her car didn't break down. Or get stolen from her at gunpoint in front of her house. <laughs> oh, yes, Alba leaves here at night and goes home to her own little gated community, just like this one, except they all speak Spanish and talk about how grateful they are to clean our grout. That's what I think, too. <gasps> Will. What? Tamara's stealing our Alba. <laughs> Bitch. Come on, Dino, you can't be late for your first day of work. God, oh, Carmine, this is humiliating. What if one of my associates sees me dressed like this? I could actually be caught dead in this outfit. <laughs> Look, it's a good first job. There's nothing wrong with bagging groceries. Yeah, you're right. Maybe by the end of the day, I'll be bagging the manager's wife. <laughs> hey there, neighbor. <laughs> I can play. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Alba, let me get that for you. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Curtis. Your job is to make us all happy on the radio, and my job is to make you happy. <laughs> so you heard me on the radio, huh? 
Oh, no, no. I don't have no radio. I just catch bits from the cars next to me. <laughs> Stick my head out the window. <laughs> it's not so safe. <laughs> oh, but hey, I don't want you doing that. Look, I'll tell you what, right after work, I'll take you down to Stereo City. You should be listening to my show. Oh, Mr. Curtis. Oh, I bet you sound wonderful. Even better on a blow punk, huh? <laughs> <laughs> talk to you. I thought that we had something special, the two of us. Oh, I, I like you. <laughs> well, then why did you leave us? Oh, Alba, is it the mileage thing? Because if you had just told me, it wouldn't have been a problem. But you need to talk to me. We need to communicate. Oh, no, I would like to come back. Oh. Yeah. If I'm able. <laughs> if, if you're able? It's just, I, I have a lot of bills, and my son goes to the Catholic school, and... Oh, all that. Did, did you know that there are scholarship programs available? In, in, in fact, um, Mr. Will and I were thinking of starting one. The Catholic children of the domestically employed. <laughs> I thought you were Jewish. Well, as they say in my religion, our arms are very long, and we love Catholics. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we discuss this over at my house? over a cup of your delicious coffee. Oh, oh what a beautiful blouse. <laughs> Pardon me, I appear to have hosed you with my fine Miss Sprayer. That's the second time this week, you little pervert. I'm reporting you to the manager. Would it help if I said I was sorry? Thank you for that one last look. Uh. <laughs> oh, Alba. Hi. Remember me? Lisa Santucci. Oh, yes, Mrs. Lisa. How are you? Uh. Gosh, so busy with all my schoolwork and taking care of Carmine. <laughs> and he won't let me hire someone like you. Oh, Italian men in their ways. I tell you a little secret. I once worked for Mr. Frank Sinatra. Oh, Carmine would be so impressed. Oh, yes, I worked for Mr. Frank very demanding. He did things his way. <laughs> well, no use wanting something I can't have. You work for the Merricks. <laughs> You'll always work for the Merricks. Oh, yes, yes. If I'm able. <laughs> Besides, how could I leave them? See, they said they might try to help my brothers come to this country. Well, you know, Carmine has a lot of... foreigners <laughs> working for him. And he has a good immigration lawyer, and he's helped many of his... foreigners <laughs> become legal. I would love to work for you, Mrs. Lisa, but you and Mr. Carmine probably can't afford me anyway. <laughs> okay, have a nice day. Lisa, what are you doing talking to that woman? I thought I told you, no strangers in the house. I know, but she's, she's like this big status symbol. Like, if you have Alba, you've made it. Sweetheart, we have made it. I mean, who else in the neighborhood has a bidet in their motorhome? <laughs> we made it bigger than the cooks in America, so I'll tell you that truth. Well, then, why doesn't Alba think that we can afford her? <laughs> Did you at least appeal to her sense of loyalty? Oh, get real. Lisa offered her liposuction. <laughs> oh. You know, maybe it's just for the best. I mean, you were never comfortable with help. <laughs> she 
is wrinkled, there is dust on the nightstand, and I miss the little chocolate on my pillow. I need to be taken care of. Someone must pay! <laughs> Oh, my God, I cannot take it anymore. The house is a mess. We have no clean dishes. Curtis, we are actually tracking dirt from the inside out. What has happened to our lives? We need Alba back. And what the hell is Carmine doing with her anyway? Having to carry spare bags of cheap jewelry up to the attic? Curtis, there is a way to get her back. You have something he wants. Baby, no. Think about your family, Curtis. A home-cooked meal, fresh flowers in vases, and your underwear drawer looking like the display case at Bloomingdale's. God, I miss that. Do the right thing, baby. Hello, Alba. Oh, yes, Mr. Carmine. You're awfully quiet up there. Remember what I told you? No limpy in my special shirts, pro favor, OK? OK. No put near open flame, huh? Very good. Oh, and Alba, what are you cooking for dinner tonight? Oh, I make a fresh salad of arugula and radicchio, fettuccine alfredo, brasol, and cannoli for dessert. Maro. I often made this meal for Mr. Frank. Oh. God, God rest his soul. I can't believe this. I'm eating the same food as Frank Sinatra. You know, you remind me so much of him. You have the same, um, how do you say in English? Charisma? No, waist size. <laughs> really? <laughs> I tell you, Albert, you keep talking like this, I'm gonna make another big contribution to your 401k. <laughs> you make me feel so young. You make me feel so spring has sprung. What? Excuse me. And every time I see your grin, it's such a happy the cook. Wow, isn't this a surprise? Please, come on in. Can I get you anything? I'm sure that Alba would be happy to bring it to you. Look, I'm going to cut right to it, OK? I'm ready to play ball. Really? You're kidding. I never thought you'd come around. I'm not doing this out of the goodness of my heart. I want something from you. You name it, buddy. Alba. <laughs> Alba? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Da, 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 da. That's the deal, neighbor. You give me Alba, and uh, I'll play for your team. But my, my underwear drawer, it looks like the display case at J.C. Penney. What's it going to be? Damn, this desperate hunger for a sports championship. <laughs> if you hung so much as one hair on our head, don't look at me. <laughs> Oh, I mean, this is a major. 
isn't worth fighting over. It's not worth breaking up friendships for. Shut up, pothead. <gasps> what? This is all your fault. If it weren't for you telling Alba you could get her brothers into the country, I wouldn't have had all those legal bills. I never told her I could get her brothers into the country. You didn't? No, all I did was promise her son Edwater was scholarship. She doesn't have a son, she has a daughter. My size. She's been playing us. Yeah. She's had us all on her strings, like some crazy puppeteer. Dance, upper middle class jet ski owners, dance. Well, she's out of here. I say we make a pledge. In the spirit of all that is good and neighborly, no more Alba. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. More Alba. Yeah. no more Alba. No more Alba. Yeah. Right. No more Alba. Nah. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to go in right now and fire her. Good. All, all right, right. Well, you go do that. You tell her she'll never clean Take in this town again. It's been an hour since he went into fire. Do you think it's too soon to call? <laughs> Do you know her number? Know it. I bought her the cell phone. <laughs> so that's it. And don't expect to get any references from me. So we'll see you next week. Just park in the Lennons and Things parking lot, and I'll pick you up. Oh, and Dialba, here's a little something for your birthday. Oh, you're so crazy. I know, it's not your birthday. When is your birthday? Next week. Okay, thank you. Bye. That's right. Go pollute another neighborhood. You would have been proud of me today, Eddie. I had him rolling in garbage. <laughs> hey, Stefan, I want to get home before the maid takes off. She's getting a little sloppy on the hospital corner. <laughs> Back, are they? Not a chance. 